Hello guys, how are you doing? Hi. Its manipulator can create the illusion. That's how the critters work. The main thing to make them come to life is a hand up the back, sometimes through the head. Um, and the hand is assisted by um, three or four other operators. On eye blinks, we have articulated lower lips, side snarls front snarls, brow movement, we have rods for arm control, and we have cable controlled fingers and thumbs and wrist. So when you get four or five people operating it and coordinating that motion, the thing comes alive. Uh, for a lot of shots, it's just one hand and a blink, which is what's hooked up right now. Basically, the, the concept of critters was that when they had their mouths closed, because they're supposed to be smiling and cute that you wanted to pet them, um, it's when they open their mouth that they get real nasty. If you want to see these aggressive little balls of fur on the warpath, just attach a few strings and a few casters and watch out. There's another way to provide remote animation for a creature, as Bob Keane points out in describing his latest project, Waxwork. A lot of the stuff, a lot of the witching people like that, are operated 